Hey guys, J Dog King Hefner here with my brand new real dog, Ramaya Cloud. And whenever you purchase something like a real dog, something that's going to cost you thousands of dollars, anywhere from six to twenty thousand dollars, depending on what type of features you add to her, well, you're always going to expect perfection when you pay for something of that magnitude because the average American, the average person walking around doesn't have that type of expendable money. Most of the times, a lot of things have had to fall into place before they can make that type of purchase. And when you do, oh, Believe me, perfection is required. So, to get to the point of this show, when I got this beautiful lady delivered to my home, uh, I did a review video. And many of you have seen that video. And if you haven't, you can go back and check it out. When I opened her up, I found a few things that were a bit disturbing considering she was a real dog. And a real dog, especially right now, I consider them to be the best companion dog company in the world. So I'm definitely expecting perfection when I open that crate. And one of the first things I saw was this beautiful lady had her fingers a little bent up and even her pinky was turned all the way around to a certain degree. After I examined her hands, I found a couple of ball spots uh, that were protruding from a couple of her fingers. Uh, one of the most troubling things that I found, though, was her hanging hook. The hook that comes from her back and you can actually hook her onto a dog stand, or any type of hook that can support her weight. Well, that was bent on this beautiful young lady. It wasn't bent to where it's non-functional, but once again, when you pay for something like a real dog, you just expect perfection. You never envision something being wrong from a aesthetic point. So I did not like that. And another thing that I actually found out later on, and I'm surprised I missed this during the review video. But when I went back and looked at the review video, I kept having her turn in such a way that I actually didn't notice it. But she had two marks on her back, two indentions. And I did not like that either. I eventually massaged them out, but it was very concerning because when I went back to the crate, I didn't see what could actually have caused those impressions in her back. What I did find, though, was several staples were still sticking up. They were out of the way of the dog, but those things need to be double-checked if you're talking about keeping your dog in her crate. So just to proceed with what's going on with my girl, I reached out to Real Dog to let them know about the concerns that I saw upon receiving my girl. And let me tell you something. Problems are going to happen in shipping sometimes. Problems can even happen in production sometimes, with any company. That's from the best company all the way down to the worst company. Things can happen. But with the best companies, you want that to happen very rarely or not at all. So in this case, I really was thinking like, you know what, Jay? You were just that one case out of a million that has had a not-so-great experience 
from a quality standpoint. But the true test of a company is not being perfect, but how do you respond to any type of problems that your customer has? How do you respond when a problem arises? And I said the real dog is the best as far as producing companion dogs. But I really want to know, how is their customer service? How is their post-purchase customer service? You know, because it's very easy to say, well, hey, he bought a dog. The hell with him now. So I really want to see what would happen when I let them know uh, about my concerns with this girl and her condition upon arrival. Well, luckily for me, I did have video. Luckily for me, I did have pictures. So whether you are someone like me doing a YouTube channel or not, it's always good to take pictures or a little video when you first get your girl, just in case something could go wrong. Well, Real Dog did their due diligence. You know, they asked me questions. And let me tell you something. These dog companies are going to ask you questions if you say something is wrong with that dog. Now, you could get upset about it and feel like they're accusing you, but they have to ask you those questions because they have to protect their investment as well. They can't have everybody just calling them willy-nilly, lying to them about damages, and then they just say, okay, we'll fix whatever you say happen. No, they have to investigate, they have to ask questions, and then they'll get a feel of whether you're being truthful or not. And so I expressed my concerns to Real Dog. They listened and I waited. And I'm not going to tell you uh, the resolution or anything like that that happened with the conversation. But I'll just say this uh, Real Dog did prove to me that they not only make a great product, but guess what? Behind the scenes, they still have a great reputation as far as customer service, post-purchase customer service. I mean, they treated me fairly. Uh, they tried to handle the situation as best they could because here's the deal. I'm not sending this dog back, you know, and they don't want the dog back, you know. Uh, trying to get her fixed and causing a big fuss and all of that stuff, you know, honestly, for me, that's going to be on the pail. You know, you have to also work with the company as well uh, as them trying to work with you uh, to resolve the issue. Because the truth of the matter is, no dog is completely perfect, just like no human is completely perfect. There are always going to be minor flaws here or minor flaws there, and that's whether you're the best or the worst, like I said before. So, with all that said, there always are going to be small little flaws. Uh, but you can't worry about those. But when a major flaw happens, then that's when the company should step in and do something about it or address it uh, to make you feel whole as a customer again. And let me tell you something. Uh, I do feel whole as a customer again. And it makes me feel very proud to be an affiliate of this company. And if you ever want a real dog, you can definitely use the links in the description of this video. And if you ever want any brand dog, you can use the links of the description of this video. And I'm not telling you any of this to dissuade you from going to real dog. Like I say, this is more than likely one out of a million times that something hasn't went perfectly well, uh, it even happened to me with another company. Uh, I had a shipping problem, and they was like, man, this has never happened to us before. But I think it's a blessing for those things to happen to me because I can help the company improve maybe their packaging, what they're doing, and that way they can prevent things from happening in the future. You know, all it takes really is one employee who doesn't love what they're doing. 
And there's no way for a company to know that immediately. All it takes is an employee doing final inspection, getting lazy with their job. They may say something like, well, I hope the customer doesn't recognize this. Maybe they won't say anything, and I just let this slide out the door. Does that mean Real Doll or any other company is bad? No. It means that guess what? It's one employee somewhere that may not be very enthusiastic about having their job. And when issues like this come up, they can go back and say, hey, who is responsible for this? You know, and they can maybe pinpoint who that person is. But if you don't report it, if you don't say anything, and if you're not nice about it, they might not ever find that person who is responsible. And once again, it may not be a person that's responsible. It could be a shipping problem. It could be something that happened right after it left the warehouse. It's so many possibilities of things going wrong. But with all that said, I want to commend Real Dog for being right on point with the way they addressed the issues that I had. Uh, yes, this girl has a bit of a crooked hook in the back. Uh, but I feel whole as a customer again, and I feel good about being an affiliate to Real Dog. And if you do happen to have any small problem or anything like that, they will definitely be willing to listen to your concerns, and they will try to handle it to the best of their ability so you can feel whole as a customer again. Yes, when you buy something expensive, you want it to be perfect. Perfection is required. But when you don't get perfection, it's all about how that company responds. And real dog, hats off. You did an amazing job. So with all that said, guys, have fun shopping for your dream girl. And I definitely say you won't go wrong if you go with real.